Today we are making the double windmill block, which is block number two. We have pre-cut our fabrics and labeled our pieces with our alpha bitties. From your background fabrics, you will need eight, two and seven eighth inch squares, eight, two and three eighth inch squares, and 16 two by two and a half inch rectangles. From each fabric D, you will need two, two and seven eighth inch squares. From each fabric E, you will need four, two by two and a half inch rectangles. And from each fabric F, you will need two, two and three eighth inch squares. Our first step is to make our half square triangles with our fabric A and fabric D. In our pattern, we cut those squares two and seven eighth inch square. But we actually cut ours an eighth of an inch bigger at three inches so we can trim them down later. We're gonna first make our blue squares and you're gonna take your background squares and on the wrong side, we're gonna draw some lines. We're gonna draw a line a quarter inch away from the center on both sides. So you've aligned your ruler with a quarter inch line at each intersection, each point, and you're gonna draw a line. Do the same thing on the other side. And so you've got two lines and you're gonna do the same thing on your next square. And now we're gonna take our two blue squares and we're gonna put our background squares on top, right sides together. I'm gonna pin on each side So I'm going to have two pins and we're going to go to the sewing machine and using a 2.0 stitch length we're going to just stitch directly on the lines that we've drawn. And now, just cut your seam in the very center by aligning the ruler on each point. Cut. And now we're going to go to the ironing board and iron our half square triangles. First, just set your seam. I use a lot of steam and then just press towards the darker fabric. Next, we're gonna trim our fabric AD half square triangles to two and a half inches unfinished. So I have a Creative Grids two and a half inch square up ruler and I'm gonna line up the diagonal line on the ruler with my seam in the center. And I'm gonna cut on two sides. And I'm gonna rotate, cut on the other two sides. And I'm gonna continue to trim all of my squares down. We're going to continue with all our colors for a total of 16 half square triangles. Now repeat your previous step using your fabric B and fabric F squares and you will end up with 16 half square triangles that are 2 inches unfinished. And now we're going to assemble our small windmill unit. We're going to take some of our fabric C rectangles. Our large half square triangles fabric E rectangles, and small half square triangles. We're going to lay it out according to the pattern. Put pieces right sides together 
and chain piece as we sew. We're just going to keep going top to bottom, top to bottom until we're done with all of our pieces. And now just clip your pieces apart in between each block so that you leave your two that go together attached. And when you press, you want to press exactly as the pattern shows because each block alternates. So you need to follow your pattern when you're pressing this step. Now that we've pressed, we chain piece and we left these units together to keep it easy. You're just going to put your fabrics right sides together, pin in your center intersection, and at the end, and just sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. So now go ahead and cut your units apart. So press your seams according to the pattern since each color goes a different direction. We've gone ahead and sewn all of our units for this step and now we're ready to assemble our windmill block on the next step. So to make your large windmill unit, just take your four small windmill units and lay them out according to the pattern. We're just going to put them right sides together, pin, and chain piece them together. And as you can see, all of your seams should nest. You've got seams going to the left and seams going to the right. And if you followed the pattern, all of your seams should nest perfectly. So now you've sewn your large pinwheel unit together. So now we're going to press according to the pattern and come back and sew. Now put your fabrics right sides together, your last two pieces, and pin in each intersection and at the end and sew your very last seam for your large windmill unit. And now we've finished sewing one of our large windmill units. You're going to press this according to the pattern. And we've gone ahead and finished our other three large windmill units and we are ready to put our block together. And then just lay your units right sides together and pin. And now we're almost done. You're going to press your units. You're going to press towards the yellow and the red. 
and we're going to come back and sew our final seam. Just do the same thing, right sides together, pin each intersection and sew that seam. And now we finished our double windmill block. Now we need to press, starch, and trim our block. So first set your final seam and press to one direction. Any direction is fine. And then using non-flaking starch, just spray your block really heavily. and let it sit for about two minutes. Now we're gonna trim our block. On this very center seam, I'm gonna put one of the lines on the ruler and just trim the outside. And you're just getting the final slivers off. You're not trying to trim down. Just getting all those threads off. We're finished. Thanks for sewing with me today and come back March 1st for the Annie's Choice block. See you then!